Hi, OTC Fit Life, it's Terry. So here's the video of the week. Today I'm doing a power or protein cookie, a pumpkin protein cookie. Uh, it's a simple recipe and really you can customize it to make it your own. Uh, so the base of the cookie is going to be oats. So I'm using old fashioned oats. I, I don't want to use the quick oats, I'm gonna use the old fashioned because they're cut a little bit thicker. So we're gonna get two heaping scoops of oats here. Put them in our bowl. Now the nice thing about these is I like to make them up during the weekend so I can have them during the week to snack on because they're really great for breakfast or just a snack. Uh, they've got your fiber in it and they've got your protein and then we're gonna throw in some other goodness in here. So I've got my oats in the bowl. Next I'm taking a can of pumpkin. Now if you want to do applesauce, you could do applesauce if you're not a pumpkin fan. Uh, I've done it with a, a pumpkin just because I like it and it has a lot of nutrients to it. Uh, pumpkin has got a lot of beta carotene and you know it's important to have like a good variety of colors in your diet so this will be the orange color as my dad used to say all right so it's going in there kids can help you with this even this is a really good family project all right, next I'm putting in two scoopfuls of my whey protein. And this is vanilla flavored, so it is a little sweet. There's no added sugars to it. And this is gonna give you that protein to help fill you up. Then a good heaping teaspoon of cinnamon and about half a teaspoon of nutmeg and then some salt. And then I've got some uh, chopped dates. Now this is just chopped dates. There's no added sugar to it. Uh, they've got a little bit on there to make it look a little bit drier, but this is going to add the natural sweetness to it. And if you don't like dates, that's fine. Leave the dates out. I was just cleaning out the pantry and thought, well, that would be good. So I like to use up odds and ends. Next I'm adding raisins. Now you could use golden raisins if you wanted. You could use dried cranberries if you wanted. Uh, you could use dried apricot pieces, it really doesn't matter. Add the fruit that you're gonna like. And then hemp hearts. I love hemp hearts because they've got a nuttiness to them. Uh, you can throw them into anything and they really taste good. Plus they have a lot of the omegas and proteins that we need. Uh, this has got 12 grams of omegas, which is really hard for your health. So that's going in there. And next I'm adding a little bit of maple syrup. Now you're going maple syrup, that's sweetener. It is, but it's a natural sweetener. And actually pure maple syrup is really good for you in small amounts, not large amounts, of course. So you're putting in about a quarter cup of that. And next I'm gonna grab two eggs out of the refrigerator and throw my eggs in there, stay tuned. And this is going to be our binding in here. Now these you're going to bake in a 350 degree oven for about 12 to 15 minutes. You don't want to overcook them. They're going to look kind of soft when you, um, when you bake them off. This isn't like your traditional cookie where you're looking for them to brown. And you want to store them in the refrigerator. These will last a good week. You want a nice consistency, it's not gonna be runny. Uh, it's gonna be thick enough that you could scoop out. And as the oatmeal gets incorporated into the pumpkin, it's gonna start swelling a little bit, and that's what we want. It's gonna pick up some of the moisture from the eggs and the pumpkin. If you wanted to throw in a mashed banana, that would be awesome. Or you could even throw in a little bit of mini chocolate chips. You could put in nuts if you wanted sunflower seeds. I've done it with sunflower seeds. I just don't have any on hand. Really, this is a great recipe. You can customize it. You can't really go wrong. You just wanna make sure that it's not too loose. You have your eggs and your protein and your binding agents in there. All right. So these took no time at all to put together. Next we're gonna scoop them 
and put them on our baking sheet. Now I'm using my ice cream scoop because this gives me uniform size, cookie size. So I tend to get about 15 cookies out of this. All depends on how big you want them. And they're not going to spread. So you don't have to worry about them giving them enough room. Now these are really nice to have warmed up in the morning if you wanted, or you can eat them cold. I eat them cold a lot of the time. So I'm getting into work in the morning and um, driving, then I'll have them with a cup of uh, hot tea or something like that, or save them for my pre-workout because it's got proteins in it and it has energy for my workout. I'm just going to mash them out a little bit because like I said they're not going to spread so we really want to just kind of flatten them out a little bit so they're uniform and they cook evenly. So you don't have one big gooey wet mess in the center. And I can smell the spices in it right now. All right so this is going into my oven. It's going in at 350, like I said, about 12 to 15 minutes. You can turn the oven off and let them sit in there just for a few minutes longer without any heat, and that will continue to cook them. You don't want to overdo them because then they're going to end up being dry. All right, so stay tuned, and we will check them out in about 15 minutes. Welcome back. So our cookies have been in the oven for about 15 minutes and I let them cool for a few minutes and you can see right now they're dry looking. Uh, they, they don't look moist like they did before I put them in. So this means they're cooked and they're really not brown. They might be a little brown on the bottom. You can see that. Uh, but they're not your traditional cookie where you want to cook them till they're golden brown. So these are going to be fine. I'm going to let them cool off and then I'll put them in a bag or a container and put them in the refrigerator. So hope you enjoy the pumpkin protein cookies and stay tuned. My next video will be a power salad that you can fix ahead and have all week. Take care and thanks for eating with me tonight. Ciao.